well uh, on here will teach you how to learn. I said we'll teach you on here to do spiritual warfare and to be able to. But um, at the point in your life, you have to make schedule and um, look for get deliverance. Anytime people deal with the occult, um, I'm just learning that the demons you begin to deal with are from the Netherlands or from the hell. These are much more stronger demons who are very stubborn and would like to would like to hold you bound because dealing with the occult or anything pertaining to satanism or um, things of with occult, the, the spirit becomes very rebellious. And so, the first thing is you are you are you are taking the step in the right direction. I will be having some deliverance conferences around. I will encourage you to. Um, join one of them and will teach you how to break some of the things I've been talking about and try and get a book Freedom from Generational Case and Strongholds uh, which you can find on our website www.freshfireprayer.com It helps you with the renouncing, denouncing, um, confessing your sins and beginning to pray and release yourself from these um, strongholds. Um, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask the Father that whatever covenant you made or pact you made with the devil, I stand in in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to break those curses and to disconnect you with the sword of the Spirit from these demons. May they never be able to harass and torment you anymore. And may the Lord save you and protect you from their affliction. In Jesus' mighty name. We'll be having a conference, deliverance conference, this coming Friday, Saturday and Sunday in New Jersey. You are welcome to join us if you go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com freshfireprayer.com you will see the information about the conference um, if you can make it make it and it will help you um, those of you who can make it I, I advise you make it i realize that deliverance conferences are good for all of us because when you go you cleanse yourself from anything that clogs blocks and hinders you from receiving the best of God. Instead of we going to conferences and jumping and falling and Jesus, Jesus, and we come back and still containing our demons, uh, it is good to go to the uh, deliverance conference where uh, they deal with the roots, the roots of ma major problems. And once you have uprooted things, you realize that it is very easy to begin to move forward in life that to be making noise and hey, 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 and then 10 years you are still stuck. You have received all the prophecies in this world and yet you are stuck because there are strong holds. There are strong holds in your life. These things I'm talking to you about, if you don't break them, pull them, destroy them, tear them down, you realize that always they are coming back, coming back, coming back at you. And so um, I advise people, people don't see the essence. People don't see the essence. Um, but they always get it later on. But I advise those who have ears to hear and take advantage. As I'm explaining to you, some of the things I'm, I'm learning myself, um, they are so deep, I said, well, we need God. We need God. I learn to appreciate God every day when I see what the devil can do to us without our God. So take advantage of these conferences if you can. And, some, and people make me uh, excuses. Oh, it is this or it is that. And the very thing they are making excuses is the very thing which is blocking them from every other thing. Oh, I can't make it because I'm working. And yes, so you are working and not getting that much from your work. Oh, I'm work, uh, I, because of this, I cannot make it. And the very things which you, is denying you access to this deliverance is this spirit. Why don't you deal one time with this root and so that you can now begin to move forward in life. Otherwise, it will always, always, always cause you to uh, not enjoy the best of God for your life. Amen. Uh, the conference is coming on this weekend, uh, starting from Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in New Jersey. And the information is on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. When we end this prayer line, I'll give you the information to Sister um, Audrey, so that you can call her. Let's take other testimonies. Two and three.
Amen and amen. Um, the Lord wants to see all of us delivered. He doesn't want any of us. He didn't shed his blood for any of us to be in bondage. Um, it's a process. It's a process of revelation. The more you get, you'll be revealing to you one day at the things which has allowed many things to have held us in bondage. And as long as you work with him, the spirit of truth every day will be revealing to you one day to the other. This is the, one of the problems. And so you come in with maybe 10 layers of strongholds. Every day, he's taking a layer off. He's taking a layer off. He's taking a layer off. You would think that nothing... God just told me, son, the kingdom of God is like a, a seed, a small seed, a mustard seed. You, you just sow it, and for some time being, as if nothing is happening. Then very soon, the shoot, and then it begins to grow, and it becomes a very huge tree, and then bears, and people begin to eat from it. That's the kingdom of God. So whenever you start the journey of seeking for deliverance from God, you, and you are hearing the word, and you are hearing the word, and you are fasting, and you are praying, and you are resisting, and you are rebuking, and you are denouncing and renouncing, sometimes you feel like nothing is happening. What you don't know is that it's like the mustard seed, very little. When it's soon, all you realize that one day everything is changed. Everything is changed. The doors that were shut are now open. The things you could never do, you are beginning to do. Because now the kingdom of God begins to have its supernatural effect in your life. Because you are walking by faith, holding on to the word, applying yourself. And deliverance, you have to be desperate. Friday, I know a lot of people have decided to come. But there are demons to which you do everything possible to make you not come. So if you want deliverance from the parts of the enemy, you have to will and desire deliverance above your enemies. Because they are, I tell you, they are going to do everything. Humanly. Many times before a deliverance session happens, those who come, they realize that, hey, we really battled in order to get here. Because they don't care at going any other places, but to go to a place where we are confronting directly the demons, they'll do everything. In fact, if you are not really concerned, I've been to Texas. Texas people came and when they came, they couldn't participate. The devil will not allow them. The devil will not allow them. Some people wanted to come. They really wanted. The devil blocked them from making it. And the devil, even people came in, in the section of intensive generational breaking of uh, strongholds, the devil used something else to get them out. The demons will do everything. They don't want to let you go. Because as I'm saying, somebody probably has dedicated you. You have no idea what has gone in to allow this spirit in. And as I'm saying, that especially when you are dealing with idol.